Hey, my name is Ralph and I'm a Flex Film. And today I'm going to show you a video on how domestic dyed window film is made. This is a general video on how it's made. It doesn't always apply specifically to every single company, but in a general sense, this is the way they're doing it, okay? I'm ready to get into it. Let's do it. Okay, I have these mason jars arranged in a certain order. I'm breaking it down into phases. I've got these representing the extrusion phase. I've got this one representing the dyeing phase. And I've got these two representing the lamination phase. Okay, I'm gonna start with the extrusion phase. This always excites me the most. Our window film in the United States that's dyed starts with this. This is simply crude oil from the earth. Um, it has to be distilled. And when, once it's distilled, there are two components that we're gonna see come from the crude oil. One is ethylene glycol, also known as antifreeze. <laughs> and then we've got the terephthalic acid, kind of a powdery substance, okay? Um, these two chemicals, okay, once distilled from the crude oil, make what we call polyester. In this jar, I've got these little beads and they're round. And I do wanna point out for this video, some people put dye in these beads and melt them and then the, poly uh, the polyester itself has dye in it. Some people put dye in the glue, but domestically, we're gonna talk about this particular method you know, because this is what, what is popular for us as window tinners. After these little beads are manufactured in this phase, they are melted down in a machine called an extruder. And the extruder literally pulls and, and, and there's a series of rollers and uh, I'll leave it at that for this video. Out comes what we know as polyester, which is optically clear. It looks to me like plastic. That's the, the, the chassis or the foundation of our window film, which is represented by this bottle. Uh, inside this bottle, I have a clear piece of polyester and uh, it's very clear, it's almost invisible to see in the jar. Okay, after the polyester has been manufactured by the extruder, it has to be dyed. Usually the extruders don't always dye the film. The, the, the film's usually dyed at another location. There's only two places in the world that dye polyester using this strategy. It's a deep dyeing process. Uh, this is a representation of that process because I have dye and the clear polyester and there's a method where they literally put the dye in the polyester from the surface and then it soaks in through the pores and. I'm just going to leave it at that. It is a, it's a trade secret that I don't even understand, but it is a, it is a very popular, it is a very um, successful method of dyeing film, and it's also a very stable way of dyeing film that seems to be uh, the most popular in our industry. Okay, this is what I'm going to refer to as the lamination phase. This, in this jar uh, is representing a piece of polyester, which was in this jar. After it's been dyed, it's just a raw piece of polyester. There's no hard coating, there's no release liner, and there's no adhesive. And there's no other layers, and there's no laminated adhesive, mount adhesive. It's just a raw piece of polyester. You see, the laminators, uh, I, that's a word that, that's not used the way it should be, in my opinion. Laminators are, are, are calling themselves manufacturers. Their names usually appear on boxes, and they claim to make film, and I, there's truth to that. Uh, there may not be the whole story, that's why we're doing this video. Um, they start here, they have to buy this somewhere because they, they, they may be manufacturers, but that doesn't mean they make this. The extruders make this. Uh, there's another place that dyes it, they, but they have to have this. This is the chassis and, and, and the main component in our film, the dyed polyester, but it, but it still needs some hard coat release liner and glue. And that's what this jar represents. After it goes through the lamination process, it's now a completed product, okay? This is what we know as window film. This is what comes off our rolls. This is what we peel the release liner off of. This is what we, we shrink and we install and cut and things like that. But I wanna elaborate on the lamination phase with a few more bottles that I have over here to my right. Okay, let's elaborate a little bit more on this lamination phase. I'm gonna introduce a few more mason jars to sort of tie this together, okay? Let's see, the first one I wanna bring over is this one. I might as well bring this one over at the same time, okay? This mason jar represents adhesive, okay? And this one is uh, solvent, methyl ethyl ketone. Okay, this stuff's pretty thick. And this has to have solvent poured in it 
so that it can be literally diluted down and thinned out because this has to go into a lamination machine. Okay, and that machine is going to coat our polyester that's already been pre-dyed, okay, with adhesive. Now, there's two types of adhesives that we, we need to deal with. We have the lamination, the, the, the laminate adhesive, and we have the mounting adhesive, okay? If we're dealing with a two-ply film, we have to have a glue to glue the two plies together. If we're dealing with a one-ply film, we can eliminate that, that middle adhesive because we're only dealing with one ply. But we all always have to deal with the mounting adhesive, okay? Again, all these adhesives have to be really thinned down because they're so thick to, to go on the window film. And after they are put on the window film, all the solvent has to be evaporated out uh, through, a, through a fan or it's a blowing process. Um, but these polyesters have to be coated and, uh, and literally stuck together. Most films that we're using domestically are two-ply films, okay? Let's also introduce a couple of more uh, chemicals. We've got this jar and we've got this jar. Okay, and this jar is a chemical known as a UV inhibitor, okay? UV inhibitors in our window film, uh, they live in our, our polyester, they can live in our, our, our glues, they can also live inside the hard coating, I'll get to in a minute, okay? Just like we're putting sunscreen on our body at the beach, we have UV inhibitors that protect our skin. We also need UV inhibitors to protect our raw materials, our dye, our polyester, our adhesives. And we also benefit from UV protection for our customers, which we can market, okay? But the UV inhibitor is very critical to the construction of our window film, and this little bottle represents that. Um, I'm also going to bring this one. This was the one that shocked me the most. Even I'd been in the business over 20 years when I found this out. I've always thought the hard coat on our window film was another layer, which it is, but it's not another layer like polyester. It actually goes on as a liquid. And, and what's so cool about this uh, inhibitor is that it reminds me of fingernail polish when it's put on, not that I put fingernail polish on, but I've seen it done. When, when it's put on and put under that, that curing light, the UV light, to harden. That's exactly what's happening in our window film. This stuff is actually rolled on to the, to the substrate that we're trying to protect, and, uh, which is this, and then it goes through a process where it cures and hardens, and that creates our hard coating. There's a lot of stuff in this bottle that represents our hard coat, and I've got some cheat notes here. It's the um, uh, solvents and UV uh, chemicals and some radiation curing adhesive, and that's what we're using to uh, protect our film. And, and I could really elaborate about um, how the laminators or what they're doing in terms of, um, you know, we've got carbons, you know, we've got metals, high performance films. We have multi, multi-layer technologies, um, sputtering technologies. I can keep going with what the laminators can do. Some can, some can't. And uh, I can see where there's gonna be a part two to this video or part three or part four, but I appreciate you watching. This is a basic general rundown on how window film is put together just to give you some idea of what's going on. And uh, I'm glad I could be a part of uh, showing you how that works. Thank you.